You could bet when I was growing up as a young man, I enjoyed a flight simulator. I wanted to show some new technology I'd seen recently. I'm with our friends down in Growmark, just south of Bloomington, and they showed me their new FS simulator. And let me tell you, when I had a chance to talk to Eric Wilcox about this technology, I could tell you it's going to be around for a long time. Thanks, Chad. And you are correct that the simulator is popular and it's going to be around for a while. What we're using it for right now is recruiting, training, and we're honing in on safety. We're looking at on-the-road safety. We're looking at training in the field, staying off the road crops, not running over anything, trying to limit those complaints and, cl and claims. Safety out there is just huge for us, so we want to make sure everybody's safe and efficient while they're running. The, the simulator behind me is something that we've pulled in. It's the first of the, in, in the industry, and we're happy to have it out at a lot of events out there. We want people to get on and experience it. We ask everybody, if you have any questions, see your local FS members, see us out on any events. Don't be afraid to hop on and, and give it a try. Eric's right. Getting a chance to run this simulator myself, I can tell you, it's very authentic. I've run these machines before, and the one thing that I was concerned about the simulator is, did it give you that, that seat in the pants feel of operating a sprayer? And let me tell you, it absolutely does. This chair actually oscillates and moves and reacts just like you're in the field. If you get a chance and you're in an event, Make sure you stop in and talk to the guys at FS. And you know what? Jump in the chair yourself and you'll learn it's not quite as easy as you think it is. Reporting on technology for This Week in Agribusiness, I'm Chad Colby.